Microsoft microphones and sound distorted and here's my own movement. It's like, it don't work like that. You gotta invest in this. Um, an artist made this comment on Instagram one day. He felt, he said this right here. He was like, okay, you know, to all y'all artists out there, you know, man, peep this, man, these promoters, they pulling y'all lead, they fucking y'all over. Reason why I say that because, you know, when you go to a show, the fans are already supposed to be there. Man, look at Drake. You know, when Drake come to his concerts, the promoters are already there. So, I'm going to give y'all the flow on that. You feel me? Because I'm, I'm from, from my standpoint, I'm like this right here. You're an artist, right? What are you doing to attract your fans to come see you? You know, what make you stand out so different from anyone else to, like, be interested? Oh, for example, well, damn. I like Mr. Eddie B. You know, I, I like Mr. C. Eddie B. They sound bang. I want to come see more of that. That shit, they, they, their songs are banging. You understand? But then you have those artists that, the new generation of artists want things to be given to them. They don't want to work for nothing. They just want everything to drop in their lap. But it don't want, it, don't, it doesn't work that way. So I'm going to start with you, Miss. Oh, well, no, Vicious is first because he like he has something to say. So Vicious, as an artist, do you feel like it's the promoter's job to have the uh, the fans and have the room already filled up before you get there? I feel it's both parties' jobs. Mm -hmm. Both parties. The artist himself, he should push a little bit more harder than the promoter, but the promoter should try to get the house full. Right. Um. I mean, with flyers passing out, hey, we have this event, this is what's going down, this is the artist. Um, this is where you can find their music, or if you have the CD here, check out their music. If you're digging it, definitely come out to the event. The artist should definitely do the same thing. So, I mean, that's my scent on it. And I feel the artist should work harder, though. Yeah. Because it's his event. Like, mm -hmm. even though the promoters and everyone is the one who's getting it together, I feel the rapper should be the one to bring everyone out. Because you're the one rapping, you mm -hmm. the one with the fans. You gotta come bring it, and you gotta show everyone else. Cause if you pack the house and it's just your people's, imagine there's somebody in the crowd from another promoter group. Mm -hmm. Now you got another place, a bigger venue or something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's um it's all about who you're dealing with too. Now that that's very important because shit, they're bullshit promoters just like they bullshit artists. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You might get a good promoter, <laughs> but a bullshit artist and a promoter like man, you need to push your shit or the Vice versa, you know what I'm saying? So, but most definitely, I second that. Um, the artist should and supposed to push more. I mean, again, go back to investing in yourself. Like, that's, it's you. You want people to come out to see you? Do something to make them come out to see you. The promoter is like an ad lib. Just help you out a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? The artist got to go hard, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. You as an artist, your fan base is pretty much the people that know you. Mm -hmm. Now, it's up to the promoter as well to turn around and, and promote it as well because me being an artist, I don't know who you know as a promoter. So, I'm looking to, yeah, I'm going to have my squad come with me, but at the same time too, how many people do you know that told people that, hey, I'm going to be in here? And one thing a lot of people got to understand, when it comes to Drake, when it comes to Lil Wayne, they already been doing it. So when it comes to a house being packed, the house is already going to pack itself. That has nothing to do with the promoter at that point because his name is already known. His image has already been seen. Well, but on well, well, our well, level... Hold on. <laughs> what you got to say? Go ahead. What's good? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me no, hear. Sure. Let me hear. <laughs> okay. It, it really depends on what level you at in the game. Mm -hmm. Facts. Really yeah, and yeah. truly because... Yeah. If you are Drake and a Lil Wayne, yes, the it's promoter easy. is supposed to pack the place because you promoting it, you supposed to be on your radio slots, you supposed to be doing your flights. It's, supposed to to, it's easy to promote somebody who's hot and who already have a following. Mm -hmm. But for somebody who's promoting showcases and stuff like that, they only can do so much. Don't nobody know your ass. Mm -hmm. That's what so I you need to start going to these shows you need to start getting out there, networking, building your fan base. That's all you need to work, 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 build your fan base, network with people. That's the only way you're going to build a following so the promoter can work for you. Hmm. And if that's the case, you know, if that's the case, well, 
uh, people can depend on an uh, uh, open mic promoter to pack the house. Hell, everybody be doing it. Exactly. So you, you can't you can't pack the house. I mean, you need to pack. You need to have somebody who's interested in hearing you first. It's just like when we when we uh, selling people selling CDs. You come, somebody come up to me in the in the store. Man, here's my CD, man. Ten ten dollars for my CD, bro. I don't even know you. I'm not gonna pay ten dollars to you, bro. I don't even know you. First of all, the artwork sucks, so you ain't putting nothing into yourself. So when you ain't putting nothing into yourself, why should I believe in you? Okay. Do you have business cards? No. Tell me why you don't have business cards. Because. I've invested in myself in other ways at the moment. Not that I'm not getting it, it's just money is tied up in other different aspects right now. So that's why I don't have any business cards. Bitches, you have business cards? I have business cards, I have flyers, I have USBs. <laughs> Find me everywhere. <laughs> Mr. C, you have business cards? Not at the moment. We don't have any more business cards. Sleep, but okay. we're gonna wake up soon. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. right, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm asking this question yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Um, Brian, do you have business cards? No, nah, I don't think. Me personally, I don't think I need them. Tell me why. Because it's all about social media. Like, when no disrespect to nobody, mm -hmm. but like when someone I know you can rap, but other people that I don't know and they give me business cards, if I receive them, what am I gonna do with it? I'm gonna probably gonna throw it away. So, if I give you a business card. You probably gonna do the same thing. If I give you my social media, now you just gotta go on it, hit the follow button, and you finna see everything that I'm doing. So that's just why I, I don't have business cards. I hear you on that aspect. Just sorry, I was gonna cut it. I hear you on that aspect, but I think it's good to have the business cards because it actually has your social media, your SoundCloud, your YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there is a chance that somebody could throw on the floor. But that's a chance you got to be willing to take because, once again, it's all about promoting yourself. You can't reach everybody. And at that point, you should have a promotion team. Um, you could give them your business cards, your CDs, uh, USBs, whatever you got. And they could pass it around. Uh, I mean... Don't, don't get me wrong. Like, business, um, having business cards, like, well, I'm going to go the other way. Having social media is good, but having business cards and the things that might be primitive right now, like... Uh, you got USBs, but it's good to have CDs just in case. Exactly. Just in case, like with business well, cards, you know what I'm saying? Even though, CDs, yeah. even mm -hmm. though, if they, like you say, you might throw it away, but shit, it's, it covers all ground. So, mm -hmm. I do agree, I don't have it, but I need to get it. But, yeah, it's it's just covering all grounds. Just to be covered, every insurance, you might not wreck, but shit, just in, just in case, you good. You know what I'm saying? I understand what the tool is and what it's used for a business card. It's not a flyer. It's not something you go around and just hand out to people. Business cards are there for people who come to you and say, do you have a card? Oh, really? How can I get in touch with you? That's, those are the only people that's supposed to get a card. At that point, it's not worried about throwing them away because they have shown interest, interest in you in already. Yeah. That's the only sure. thing it's for. It's not for promoting yourself or nothing. It's for contact only. You know, if some if you are handing somebody a business card, at that point, you should know interest has already been made. Now it's can you follow <laughs> up? You see, yeah. so it, it, if you're going to be independent from the smallest thing, when you say primitive, there's no such thing. Okay, I can mm -hmm. say that. But the world do call cities primitive, but. No, well, here's, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you're watching, if you're keeping up, albums are coming back. Yeah. If you're keeping up, they hit the ceiling. What's after digital? It's like platinum and ice. It's, there's, they can't take you to another necklace. It hit the ceiling. So once that's tapped out, what are you gonna do? You run out of you run out of blunts. You gonna get your papers. You gonna do whatever you gotta do to make it happen. You don't sell a million just by focusing on one avenue of selling. 
It's, it's all or nothing. 100% in or nothing. If I got to write it in crayon on your hand. <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to say to you? <coughs> but people recognize begging. Nobody wants you to come and try to force your shit on them. Man, listen to my shit. People make that mistake a lot. Most, a lot of artists are gracious to take it, or big people are gracious to take it, but that's not, that's not how it works no more. At all. Point of example, let's see, let's say y'all are just at a regular party, just vibing, right? And y'all see, I'm just gonna say Jay Z throw it out there. So, do you feel if y'all see him at a party of Batman and y'all know he's in chill mode, do you feel like it would be appropriate for you to rush up to him and give him a CD? No, no. A corporate, he's a CEO of a corporation, but he's also a human being. Mm -hmm. So, if he got down in chill mode and I was to see him, me being me, okay, there go Jay Z. Salutes to your homie. I'm still gonna be doing my thing because I'm gonna be ducked in the cut room and doobies up anyways. <laughs> so, but that's one thing people gotta understand that yeah, they they've made their name for them, they've built their brand and their platform. It it is what it is, but they're still human beings. You gotta give them that space. Y'all, if y'all pay a DJ to spin your thing, y'all are thinking he's gonna spin it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, y'all right? Mm -hmm. If, if you pay, yeah, he'll spin. Yeah. He'll spin while you there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but I'm glad you said that. Do you think, like, once you leave, you, if you pay to spin your CD, once you leave, do you think you still but, spin your music? Okay. There's very, very, very few DJs that will, you know, <laughs> very, very, hey, when I say very few, I mean very few that will just, if they feeling you, they'll continue spinning, you know, trying to break your record or whatever, but most of them, when you pay them, they'll play it. If they don't like what they see, it's a rap with your song, your money is gone, and they're not gonna play that song no more. So, so you, you basically just, you know, you're taking a gamble on a lot of these DJs out here. And, you know, a lot of them is just money hungry. Just, you know, everybody wants to get some money, but, you know, it's a certain way you gotta operate your business. And me personally, Every time I step out, I, I, I consider myself as a business. I represent Boss Made Records, so, you know, you may see me posted up, chilling, smoking, doing what I do, whatever I do, but you're not going to see me out here making a bad name for my brand. We're going to talk about that in a second. That's, so, that's, that's very important. We're going to talk about that in a second. It's, City boy. When you turn around and you give a DJ your money, I look for him to play my eyes. Like, if the club is packed, hey, play it right here while I'm here. That is, I'm in here. I want to jam out to my music while I'm in here. But at the same time, too, if I've built a relationship with you, keyword again, if I've built a relationship with you, not meaning I ain't just meet you yesterday. Like, we've been, you seen I've been grinding in the dirt for five years, ten years. Okay, we've built a relationship. So at that point, if I pay you to pay it in that club, cool. But then after that, if you continue to play it, which you should, because we've built this relationship, you understand that, hey, he trying to climb to the top like I'm trying to mm -hmm. climb to the top. So at that point, it's what? One hand washing the other? Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, hey, nah, nah. sometimes you got to, when you paying, it's all an investment into yourself. Mm -hmm. anybody, that's in, anybody that's in business, even when you watch Shark Tanks, they understand some investments are good and some are not. So some of them you gonna have they gonna pay their money and they gonna get played and then some of them it's a game. play it right now and okay yeah. I ain't messing with them. Vicious, what you feel about that? I totally agree with everything you just said. Yeah. Like they took the words right out of my mouth. Right. Well, you know they say great minds think alike. Ryan, so how you feel about that? About the DJ singing your music, like? Um. Uh, I don't know, because I feel for me it's a little bit, it's a little bit different, because I don't have a club banger, I don't have a song for the strippers, I don't have like none of that. So me personally, I wouldn't give my music to a DJ. Um, and these days, the DJ is kind of becoming extinct, anyways. 
Like nobody's, li everybody's doing everything online. People are streaming, people are doing this, people are doing that. You know, at these, these points, like the DJs aren't even the gatekeepers anymore. So it's like by gatekeepers, I mean, they're not the, pe they're not the ones who are presenting the music to the people anymore anyways. If you're in a small setting, then yes. But as far as new song by Jay-Z, the DJs are not the ones spinning it no more. It's the the big people, the the apples, the 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 titles, the all those people. They're the ones being the gatekeepers for music right now. So like right now I'm not I don't even look at the DJs. I'm not trying to If I listen to a song in my house by myself, I can say to myself, Man, I like that. That's a hit. Individually speaking. Yes. Okay. The importance of the DJ is if I go to a club and I hear a DJ play that song and I see other people around me dancing and jamming, it's confirmation. Because we're dealing with followers. This is what fans are, fanatics. They follow us. They sheep. They follow what they think is hot. They don't know what's hot. A hot song means... A song is in your mind only means that you heard it six times. This is the science behind it. They know it. Once you hit, once a brain hears it six times, it's in your head. This is why you hear a song. Like, damn, they just played that an hour ago. Somebody's <laughs> making sure you hear that. You, they making you think it's a hit. You think half of the stuff you hear on the radio is a hit? Yeah, nah. <laughs> Rihanna, Rihanna's the best. I love her to death. Cause I see the magic in what she's doing. That's why most of her her hit songs, her choruses are repeats. Umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Eh, eh. She's that in play into it. You have to understand the game that, that's being played. And this is the power of music. And this is why these young cats, y'all have to wake up. It's the power of music. You have the power to lead masses. They know this. That's why they want you talking about bitches and hoes and selling dope and killing. That's what they want. Because the more you talk about that, you create the reality in your neighborhood. It's not in their neighborhood. Why is it not in their neighborhood? Because their music ain't been played like that. Because country music don't say that. Because rock don't say that. You understand what I'm saying? But have you heard some of the country yeah, music lately? Like hey, but oh, yeah. listen. Listen. You will, you will never... You will never turn on a country station and hear a singer call a woman a bitch Facts. or a hoe. Facts. Ever. That's designed I'm for you. This this girl is nothing but ain't Bruh. even a <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying. It's designed for you. This, is, this should make you upset. It's designed for you. Because just because you want to say it, don't mean that they have to let you say it. How is it that they let you say it? 